Are you bi? Clear the rumors. Do you love eating it from the back? Are there any influences you think that are bad as fuck? Or since the breakup, have you been talking to other people? Have you ever had a threesome? Is there an influence in your DMs now that you're single? Do you regret having a baby with you, Oxy? Yo, what's going on, you guys? This is Alex with Drawings, but if you want to call me, it doesn't really matter. I'm back with another video, and I got my homie Chris right here behind the camera to help me out. Yo, what's up? I hit him up last minute if he can help me out with this video, and he said yeah, so my boy came through, and I'm hoping it's a good one. The title of the video is a truth or shot Q&A type video. I know. If you don't follow me on IG, one, you're tripping. Go follow me on IG. I'll leave the link in my description. And two... I asked y'all to ask me some spicy questions and I skimmed through them. I don't want to go too crazy reading through all the, all the questions because I'm letting Chris blind pick. So he's going to pick at random what to ask me. And I can either answer it truthfully, in short answer, because I'm not going to go into detail because I want to be banging these out. Or I can take a shot. And yeah, I'm a little nervous. If you guys remember the last time I did a truth or shot, Damn, if I'm remembering correctly, I believe it was with my roommate, my old roommate Bustos, my homie. It, it, was, it, it did not end well. Nah, I came, I came home to you dying, and then Bustos dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris was, was there. It was at Chris's place and Bustos place. Got off work and I see two drunk dudes dead on the floor. That's That was a sight. Yeah, I'll, I'll pop up a picture of me in the bathroom. I'm pretty sure I have it, so if it is, it'll be right here on screen. It didn't end too well. We're not doing that today. I gotta wake up early in the morning to take my son to school and I gotta go to boxing right after that. So I need to answer these questions because I do not want no hangover. So enough talking, let's get into it. Question number one is, ever since the breakup, have you been talking to other people? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, I have. It's very... Yeah, short answer. That's it. What the fuck? Go. Next question. I'm not, I'm not going into detail. Do you want more kids in the future if you and Yuwatsi end up together? Uh, me and her end up being together or not, I would still want one more baby. And if not, that's totally fine. Because let's say I get back with Yuwatsi and she, she doesn't want to have another kid. Or I get with someone else and she doesn't want to have a kid. I'm not going to force them to have a kid. And I mean, yeah. So I guess, yes, I would like to have another baby. But if not... That's cool. When was the last time you were tested for STD or STI? Like two years ago. Only because that was before you and I started dating. So, yeah, I mean, like, it's normal. If you don't get tested, you're fucking weird and dirty. Just go get tested. N nothing came out of mine. Hopefully nothing comes out of yours. It's not weird. It's very normal. Especially if you're sleeping around, you should definitely be doing that. Next question. Ella is a blessing, of course. Have you not been in a situation, where would you be next, pretty much? Like, you mean, you have to never had a baby. Like, in other words, if you pulled out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if we never... Okay, let's just say you actually was never in my life, and I, Ella never came into my life, obviously, after that. Uh, I'd still be down here in SoCal, because that was my original plan, but I would be doing something completely different. Because my original plan was to move down here to SoCal, be a bartender, be a bartender, get my bartending up, and then go to clubs, meet people through that, and yeah, I was kind of trying to, I was just gonna try to build a network from there. But obviously, God had different plans, and now we're here. I'm blessed to be where I'm at, and all I can do is thank the high power up there. Right? All right, this next question right here: What's your body count? Cheers. There you go, guys. I had to get him going. I had to get him going. Oof, oof. Hey, I just want to chill. Oh, it's work. <laughs> Keep in mind, guys, the reason why he died that one day when I walked in on them, he's getting old. He can't handle it no more. Yeah, no, I used to drink a lot. I can't no more. Ooh, I blacked out at the kitty cat's party, Kiki. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, damn. I spent the night at my friend's house. Next question here is, besides the physical part of her, what made you fall for you, Watsi? A lot of people, okay, when you're online, you don't see, I guess you can't really see how they are offline, and the way you, Watsi, was offline, she's a beautiful soul, down to earth. 
you know, might not seem like it to some of you, but she's actually really funny in person. And yeah, she's super sweet. And yeah, short answer to that. And I loved how she was as a mother before she had my baby. When I would see her with Travis, I loved how she were. I loved her mothering nature. And yeah, that's another thing that like pulled me in. <sighs> she was gross. Cool. All right, this is the next question here. Any influences you think that are bad as fuck? Oh. I know, funny question to ask right after that one, huh? <laughs> well, cheers to that too. I'm not, yeah. Ah, fuck dude, this shit is disgusting. Let's see if I can kill him, guys. Let's see. There you go. That's good. Next question is, how has your self-healing time been? Great. I got back into my boxing, been regulating my breathing because I had a, a big problem with my lungs. And then when I went to the doctors, they found out other stuff. So I got that fixed. Or I'm getting that fixed as like time goes with like medicine. And I guess I got into boxing. Now all I gotta do is get my eating right and it will be solid. So yeah, good. What do you think about the hate comments people are posting? People are tripping, bro. I just, Yolette and I just did a mukbang. I don't know if that's going up first or this one, but me and her just did a mukbang talking about everything that's been going on the last week. Y'all are tripping. Everyone coming out here sideways about how we broke up. I'm not gonna talk about it here because I talked about it in the other video. If you haven't seen the other video, go watch that one if you guys want an explanation. Y'all are tripping. Relax on that shit. Next question. Would you hook up with another influencer that Yolette knows or talks to? <laughs> I feel like that kind of answered it. I don't know. like. It's like saying I wouldn't like try to get, I wouldn't have like. It's a random influencer versus an influencer that you're watching those personally. So it's kind of a little bit different. If you think about it. See, it's unfair though. Like, let's, let's say, ah, it's just a weird position, I don't know. But I'm gonna take a shot. I'm gonna take a shot to that. I'm not answering that fucking question. <laughs> What is the nicest thing a girl has done for you? Giving me my baby. Ella. Have you ever had any homosexual experiences or been attracted to a man? No. No offense. I ain't gay. None of that. Not that there is anything wrong with it. It's just I've been asked this question. Every time I do a QA, and a I get asked this question all the time. And yes, I can skip it. But obviously I get new viewers new subscribers, new followers, new supporters, all the time. I'm not gay, I'm straight. I'm sorry for all the dudes in my DMs. I'm straight, so yeah, it's point blank period and that's it. But you date anyone younger than you? How about older? By how much? Let's do both. Oh, hold on, I was, about to, I was about to say some crazy shit. I was about to say age is just a number, but now that I'm older, I used to say that when I was younger, because when I, was, when I was under 18, I was like, hey, age is just a number. But now, age is not just a number. If I'm dating someone, in my life right now, they gotta be at least 21, because I need us to go out and drink, go to a bar, vibe over there or something, go to a club. If you can't get in with a legal ID, absolutely not. I'm over that shit. That shit is boring, shit is corny, fuck that. Older, obviously it don't matter. Yuatsu is older than me, for all of you that don't know. I know some people think I'm older than her. I'm not, I'm 24. She's 27, so, yeah. Do you see yourself getting married one day? Yes. Not now. <laughs> Unfortunately, not right now. Have you ever had your ass ate? No. Nope, I will not. I'm so uncomfortable with that shit. <laughs> Who and when was your first time doing it? Who and when? I'm not gonna drop a name, but who was my first girlfriend when? I was a junior in high school. I was 17, 16, I think I was 16. I don't know. It was fucking terrible. <laughs> that's all y'all gotta know. <laughs> that's when, that's who and that's when. First girlfriend in high school. Where do you see yourself in five years? <clears throat> At least one or two, one to two years into my clothing brand, looking into opening my own gym and 
hopefully I'm past 300k subscribers, 500k subscribers. Have you ever got caught doing the uh, segs? No, I have not. I've been close. Uh, I'm not gonna say with who. Never mind. I think my mom's watching this. Mom, I love you. The nuts is. We're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> but no, I have not been caught. What's a moment that you'll never forget about? I, I want to say a moment in your life. Let's just say that. A moment in your life. The birth of my baby. That was a insane thing to see in person. Never, I like imagined it when I was younger and like obviously building up to it, but the day of it happening, it's a real moment. That shit was crazy. Do you jerk off since, you know, that's the next question. Do you jerk off? I do not. I release my energy another way. Just not like that. Alright, this is a nice uh, follow-up to that question. Do you still get the dirty, uh, dirty, dirty with your Watsi, even though you're thankfully not together anymore? That's fucking stupid. If I drink it, I feel like that's already giving away an answer. If I don't... What? Fuck y'all. <laughs> I'm not answering that. So y'all get a yes or no out of me. So let your imagination run wild. Oh, fucking gross. If you're high, if you need to hide it from your partner, it's cheating. That's basically it. If you're talking to someone online, trying to get someone else's attention, and you need, you're like, you're like, maybe you shouldn't be doing that. You're having second thoughts. That's cheating. All right, next question: What does commitment mean to you? You're all about that person. It's just how it is. All right. Next question: What are the values you hold dearest? Honesty, loyalty, respect. Craziest place you ever done the deed? <laughs> Outside of a church. <laughs> at night. At night. It was after hours, all right? Not during sermon, not during uh, mass, none of that. It was after hours. I have a feeling I know what church, too. That's the funny part. <laughs> if it's our hometown, then no, I know you, no, you don't. You don't know the church. You don't, <laughs> you, know, you don't know the church. Next question. All right, next question. Do you still like Yuatsi as a girlfriend, not a best friend? I'm gonna rephrase that in, as like, do I still have feelings for you, Watsi? Short answer, yes, because like we just broke up, so it'd be stupid for me to be like, I don't care about her. So I mean, yeah, it's probably an obvious answer. Are you by? Clear the rumors, lol, Alex. Are you by? That's the whole question. Someone yeah. said that. Yeah. That's oh, I lie. thought you added that. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? No, I'm not by. As the previous question said. I am straight. I apologize for all the guys in my DMs again, but I'm straight. So yeah. What's your favorite sex position? <sighs> See, like I could tell y'all, but I'd rather show y'all. So, so imagine, lady, lady friends, right here. Yeah, lift this leg. Come up here. And put one hand down here and just fucking go at it like fucking crazy. Alright? Y'all haven't tried it? Tell your man to try it. Fuck out. God damn. Well, if your man don't do leg day, he ain't, he ain't gonna be able to last. So, I mean, if you down for all that and you ready for that, fucking okay, let your mans know. Let him watch whatever I just did. And tag me if you, did, if you try it out in the, you guys' next session, alright? Next question. What's up? Was it harder being a dad of two than you thought? Yes, and no, if anything, I overestimated it. Maybe that's because I have amazing kids. Do you regret having a baby with you, Atsu? Absolutely not. Next question, is it true you didn't want to get married with you, Atsu? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so, no, wait. This question is dumb. I don't date just to date. I don't date to like see where it's going. I date for the long term. I date for in hopes of putting a ring on it. And I'm not gonna go into detail. If you want the details, my mukbang with Yuatsi that I did with her. I don't know if it's up yet. Cause again, 
we recorded it yesterday and now I'm recording this one today. I don't know which one's going up first. If it's not up yet, it will come out and I'll talk about it more there. So, God damn. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> damn. Were you holding back in your Watsi's breakup video? No, I was extremely tired. In the video, I explained that I had just ba damn near woken up from putting my baby to sleep. But he's more tired because... I was falling asleep putting our baby to sleep. Yeah, so he put Ella to sleep and he fell asleep. He was falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, so I kind of just woke up. You want to film? My baby's amazing. Ella, she's an angel, but recently she has been having the hardest time sleeping. We think it's because we separated her from her brother in their room. So maybe that's why she's having a hard time, but we don't know. So I had to put her to sleep and by putting her to sleep, I have her in my arm and I, I'm in a little rocking chair and I'm falling asleep with her. We both fall asleep. I put her down. I come down here and you is like, let's film. I was like, fuck, you're right. I totally forgot we had to do this. I was like, all right, let's fucking do it. And I was so tired. Next question. <clears throat> Were you forced to be in a relationship? No. I don't do anything because I'm forced. I do everything because I say that I want to do it. Do people's opinions have a say in what I do? No. For the most part, no. Unless it's me asking them for advice. But other than that, no. If it's me doing it, if it's me being in it, it's probably because I wanted to do it. Or probably because, I don't know. You can't blame other people for your actions. I chose to be in a relationship and do I regret it? Absolutely not. <clears throat> On a level of 1 to 10, how kinky are you? And give an example. <laughs> okay, what the fuck? Oh, so I guess we're pulling out the pillow again. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, you're a nice looking lady, alright? You're right here, you're coming out to me, I'm like, oh shit, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, Go like this. Oh, fuck my hip! <laughs> Oh, yo, I heard that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I'm telling you, if, you, if your mans can't handle what I just, what I'm doing, don't have to do it. I need to stretch. Fuck. All right, let's do a few more questions and then we're good. Cause I'm, I'm done. I'm tired. It's cause I'm drunk. All right, I'm not drunk, but it's cause I. What the fuck was I saying? It's because I've been drinking, so I fucked up my um, my form and my example. So maybe in an another video I can show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all how to do that, but right now, uh, <laughs> next question. Would you have a threesome with your ex and someone else? Oh, fuck. Okay, that's very specific. Actually, sorry, I'm moving the, moving the light. Short answer, yes. Has to be a girl. Can't be with a dude. No offense. Next question, go. Have you ever had a threesome? <laughs> I'm not taking no more shots, fuck that. No, but I've been like this close to it. You guys see how close that is? You guys can't tell but the atoms in between my fingers are not touching. Very close. Um. Long story short, it's probably the only question I'll go into detail with because it's a funny ass um, story time. I did answer this on someone else's video, but it got cut. So, I mean, I'm cool with that, so whatever. I'm not gonna name any names. But me and this other girl were actually, no, I've had, it's almost been two times. I was at a festival and these two girls wanted to take me home. These, these this lesbian couple wanted, wanted to take me home. I don't know if they wanted to do things or if they wanted to take my shit because a lot their hands were in my pockets but it felt like they were reaching for something else because i didn't have anything in my pockets at the time and yeah they were like you should come home with us we'll have a good time we'll have a silly goose time achilles shout out to you and yeah for the most part i, I was like you know what i can't because i need to stay here for my homies because they're missing and my dumb ass might have missed the opportunity to do so. And then, maybe last year, I had a, no, two years ago, I had a girl confess her love to me saying that she would want to do anything with me. And so I put the offer on the table, and it was a yes, and then it turned into a no. So, 
Yeah, I've been close, but no, I have not had one yet. What's the longest uh, you've lasted? Damn. All bullshit aside. Like an hour and 20? Hour and 30? But that was like around three. So, I take that as you will. So, yeah. <laughs> Do you love eating it from the back? Never done it. I've gotten shit for it before. <laughs> I've never done it. If your man does it, all power to you. I have not done it yet. And yeah, I'm open to it, but I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> Come on, next question. What's your biggest sexual fantasy? Sexual fantasy. It's not like my biggest sexual fantasy because I can't really think of one right now, but I want to join the Mile High Club. That'd be sick. But from what I've heard, that's with a flight attendant or that's with your partner in, in an airplane. So I don't fucking know. It's one of the two. But I'm down for, I guess, either or. So go ahead. I'm not drinking no more. So every question should be answered from now on. All right. I went through the footage and I realized I got like 40 minutes of footage. And I we need to wrap it up. So we're going to pick five. We went through my phone. I had Chris pick five questions to end it off so we can wrap this shit up because... I'm feeling it, even though I haven't been drinking that much. Like I said, I, I can't drink no more, like at all. And when I'm on my healthier diet, I can't drink even more than what I wasn't able to do that before. So five more questions, go. All right, cool. First one, uh, are you DNs flooded? Yes, <laughs> they are flooded. <laughs> I, I will admit, I was honestly expecting my DMs to be flooded with like people telling me shit, like you should have, I don't know, I, I just expected my DMs to be flooded with people telling me shit, but they're actually not. It's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff that I did not expect, like, at all. All right, next question. Are you open to dating anyone right now? I want to say no, but I'd be lying. So, I mean, like, if the right person comes, then the right person comes. But for the most part, not, nah, it's obviously not like, I'm not like fucking looking to DM or like try, try to reach out to anyone and stuff like that. Like, I'm, I'm definitely not looking for it, like at all. All right, next question, OnlyFans. <laughs> I get asses a lot more than I would expect. No, I'm not doing no OnlyFans. My, my junk, my cheeks, my everything, my body is for the person that I'm with. Not for a bunch of people who are willing to pay a pretty penny. Alright, well the next question is, what do you think about Yawatsi having a crush? <sighs> uh, Yawatsi having a crush. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Maybe it's liquid courage I got going in, <laughs> rushing through my veins. I don't give a fuck. Look. Look. It doesn't bother me. There's no reason for it to bother me. It's not like when I saw that video, I'm like, hey! I don't care. Who the fuck cares? It's not a big deal. Next question. Is there an influence in your DMs now that you're single? <sighs> That's the last question? That's the last question. <sighs> Her name is Bacardi. I'm good. Take a shot to that. And... Is that the last question? That was just five, right? Yeah, that was just five, yeah. All right, <laughs> we're gonna end it up there. <laughs> we're not gonna talk about this anymore. I appreciate all y'all dropping juicy questions. Don't worry, I'm gonna take it before I end the video. I need my chaser because I'm a dad now and I drink like. <sighs> well, I appreciate all y'all watching. If you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe. Cheers to you over there. Hopefully, you were drinking with me. And that was the end of this spicy Q&A. And yeah, truth or shot, whatever you want to call it. I'm a little buzzed right now. Like I said, I can't drink anymore. I can't handle my alcohol. But I appreciate y'all watching, tuning in. If you made it to this far into the video, comment the dinosaur emoji. That's my favorite emoji, even though I don't use it whatsoever. It's my favorite one to see. Comment the dinosaur emoji. So if all the people that are watching check the comments and they just see a bunch of dinosaurs, they're, they're not going to know what the fuck's happening. So I appreciate you watching. Please leave a like, subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace and big shout out to my homie Chris for...
helping me out with the video and picking random questions, even though he picked some really good ones and some really dumb ones, but it's all good. Hope you guys enjoy.